so today I was sharing the idea concept of something that I want to do. And while thinking about the conversation that I have with someone, I started to think about reality versus fate. And what I have learned is that reality is kind of um, a dream killer. Logic tells us that we can't do things that we envision for ourselves. The visions and the thoughts and the ideas that were given to us, solely to us, to carry out in this world, we say we can't do it because of some logical thing that's in our way. Well, I can't go to school because I didn't score well on my ACT, or I'm not going to pass this class because I have the lowest grade. Well, that doesn't mean that everything is impossible. That's just the reality of it. We have to put our faith in our dreams and believe that whatever it is that we see, that it can come to pass. We can't talk about how we're so faithful and spiritual warriors and then be afraid to live our lives. We have to give ourselves the opportunity to grow and learn and show faith. Logic and reality, those are things that man has made. Those are laws that man has created. You must do this, this, that before you can get to here. Well, if you're a spiritual being and you're a spiritual person, you understand the spiritual realm. If you're a, a church person, a person that goes to church or a godly person, whatever, what have you, then you have to believe that whatever it is that you see, that it's possible to obtain despite all of the reality or logical obstacles. You just have to let yourself flow free. For me, I call it yaya logic. They say that don't make sense. You can't do that. It doesn't make sense. Why, why do you want to try this? Why do you want to do this? Well, to me, it's logical because it's a vision that's been given to me. It's my blueprint. So it's Yaya's logic. And I don't have to explain to you. And I don't have to have anyone prophesy or give me a reason to follow through with what was given to me. My blueprint is not given to anyone else. It's given directly to me. Because if it was given to someone else, they might have me building a structure that's not meant for me, but meant for them. So I have to carry out my Yaya's logic. And logically, what people tell me and even the reality that's around me, it don't fit with who I am and what I'm supposed to be. If I meet someone else and their logic is different from mine, if they have this idea or are these ideals about life and how they're supposed to live it. And I don't see their point. I don't agree with them. You know what I do? I mind my business. Because that's not my blueprint. That's not my life. That's their life. That's what they have to live through. That's what they need to have come to pass in their life. It's not for me to say it has to go this way. We are not designed to be robots. We are not designed to do the same exact thing everyone else did. Just because someone else walked the path don't mean we have to walk the path just because now we know it's clear. Sometimes we have to clear a path so that other people can follow us. Some people are followers. Some people are leaders. And if you're a leader, you do things that are different. You do things that are more challenging. And you do things that do not make sense. They only make sense to you because it's for you to bring to present, to come to pass. It's your faith. It's your logic. This is Yaya's logic. And the way that I'm going to live my life and carry out the things that need to be done, that's not your business. Will you reap the benefits of it? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But I know that if I live my life the way that someone else tells me to live my life, then I will always regret that person and I re will regret the choice I made not to follow, follow my inner self because logic said or reality said or statistics said that I should not do what the spiritual world has told me to do. So. For all my people, my uh, spiritual warriors, my godly people, 
however you pray, worship, love, follow your dreams and do it on your own terms. Oh,